Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I'm up here in Columbus. I just stopped at Whole Foods to go to the bathroom here and grab a drink. Um, <laughs> I was washing my hands at the bathroom, and I was standing there for a good 10 seconds with my hands under the paper towel dispenser, waiting for soap to come out of it. It's allergy season, and my brain has just been like fogged over lately so I was gonna grab a ginger shot I know they have a centrifugal juice bar here and I wanted to talk to you guys about why I would pick uh, centrifugal juice over cold pressed juice because Whole Foods does offer cold pressed juice as well cold pressed juice is a higher like take all the variables out besides the juicers cold pressed juice is obviously a much better extraction method than centrifugal juice centrifugal juice runs uh, the juice through a, a centrifuge it spits it against um, the wall of a strainer and it, it oxidizes the juice uh, more so than a cold press machine does a cold press machine presses uh, the produce it's ground up and then pressed and uh, it's a much gentler process and it doesn't oxidize the juice as much which means the shelf life on that cold pressed juice a fully raw cold pressed juice is three to five days nutritionally a centrifugal raw fully raw juice is a, needs to be drank within 20 minutes so just comparing those two um, without any variables beside like pasteurization or um, organic versus non-organic produce just the extraction method itself cold pressed juice is a higher quality extraction method whole foods has both they have a cold pressed ginger shot that was made in california um, obviously it's been pasteurized if it's been shipped across the country um, and they also have a fresh juice bar with a centrifugal juicer looks like they had a Nutrifaster and a Tribus one is better for like the liquid base of centrifugal juicing so like cucumbers celery carrots um, the, I bet they have the try best juicer for greens and wheatgrass shots, uh, but the juice bar wasn't open, so I ended up not getting anything. Given the choice between a cold pressed versus centrifugal, um, I would definitely go for the fresh centrifugal juice um, because it's fresh and it's still alive. So if I'm drinking juice, I want it to be, and this is all personal preference, but if I'm drinking juice, I'm drinking it to get the live enzymes of the plant or the vegetable or whatever it is. And uh, I'm drinking it like specifically today I was looking for a ginger shot to help with my inflammation for my allergies and histamine response and um, ginger shots are great for allergies if you're suffering from allergies. Given the opportunity to choose between a cold pressed ginger shot and a centrifugal ginger shot, I'm going to pick the ginger shot that is the most alive. I'm going to pick the juice that is closest to its raw state as possible. Once the juice has been extracted from the plant, um, the fruits and veggies it's then things can go wrong or they can go I don't know uh, and this is all personal preference but a lot of the times cold pressed juice will get pasteurized so it can be stored on a shelf for much longer than it should be and there are a bunch of different ways that juice can be pasteurized it can be pasteurized with pressure it can be pasteurized with light with heat with chemicals which is so gross um, but it's true and they don't even these companies don't even legally have to like put this stuff on the label um, it's the juicing industry is a scary industry there's this perception of health uh, behind a juice you think you're buying something that's healthy for you but I mean business is business and businesses are allowed to do whatever they want when I see juices sitting on a grocery store shelf I often just glaze over them because I know that they have been treated pasteurized uh, something has been done to those juices especially if they're coming from California um, to allow them to be more shelf stable they've been there's no life left in those juices there are some like trace minerals that make it through the pasteurization process uh, I read a study on it somewhere like a certain amount of vitamin C makes it through obviously there is a, you're drinking something better than like a coke or there's pros and cons to all of this. When I personally am looking for a juice, I'm looking for something fresh uh, that's still alive and still raw, that hasn't been treated or processed or nothing's been done to it, um, which is why you will still see a centrifugal juice bar in, you'll see multiple like levels of juice in 
and all of this, especially like a big Whole Foods like this, um, people still want to see, people want to know what is happening with their juice. I think there will always be a place for centrifugal um, made to order. I think we're going to see a huge shift into the uh, made to order cold press juice because people are just getting too smart. Uh, consumers know what's going on and they want the highest quality product you can get. I will hands down always pick a centrifugal juice over a pasteurized cold pressed juice. I use centrifugal juicers at home. I use masticating juicers at home. Um, it's not the extraction method only matters if the integrity of the product stays intact which is this is all personal preference but in my mind there is a hierarchy of um, the extraction method isn't the highest quality uh, thing that is determining that quality of product the nutritional benefits of that juice have to be in place have to be there uh, as a consumer for my own personal preference so i hope that kind of breaks down centrifugal versus uh, cold press and to all those people that follow us that are always contemplating um centrifugal versus cold press or what juicer to get um anything anytime you can serve a fresh good quality product people will find you and seek you out and customers will be very happy with that um, but there's a time and a place for everything every uh, everyone has a niche and people will find and seek out what beverages they're looking for hope this video is helpful to you guys leave your uh, opinion what would you buy would you buy a pasteurized cold press juice or a centrifugal i want to know what you guys think about this topic down in the description down in the uh, maybe I'll go to Native uh, Juicery here, local in Columbus, and get some something. They serve four ounces of raw ginger juice straight. It's potent stuff. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!